Hey guys, Ibantis here, doing Challenge of Elders run through, this time with my Hunter. Modifiers have got our super kill bonus, of course, bring your bad juju, and that ties pretty well with small arms. Your bad juju is going to hit very hard, so that's a nice combo. Berserk is working against us, the enemies are not going to flinch, the sword melee guys for Vandals, the uh, Phalanx for the Cabal, they're not going to flinch, they're pretty much just going to be coming at you constantly, so be aware of that, make sure you stay pretty mobile on those. As for my build this morning, as for a hunter, I'm going to be running Blade Dancer, I'm going to be running Encore in the first rooms, especially just because you can survive these first two rooms a lot more and you'll get more out of your super this way. And also going to be running Escape Artist in case I do need to get out of there in a hurry and I can do it quietly. Finally, Showstopper, if I do get a nice group surrounded around me, you can use this and get a nice little burst of damage on a lot of those guys. Other than that, Bad Juju, a strong sniper rifle, machine gun if you want it to do some damage if you need to mix things up. Also, as the last room does have each different type of flare, it's nice to have a different type of damage, so my super can do some. Still Piercer, of course, is going to be Void, and then I've got Solar here. So, also running Mask of Third Man increases the uh, super use that I get out of Blade Dancer, so Arc Blade uses less super energy. Other than that, pretty straightforward, I think. As for round one, we've got the Pilot Servitor, and this is going to be... Uh, basically staying away from him. He's got some bouncy grenades and he's got kind of a melee pulse. He's not the most accurate guy, so just keep your distance. I do like to pull out my sniper rifle here so I get some early shots on him as well. So if you dodge these first initial shots here, just move around a little bit. Get some shots into him. Your sniper's not going to be quite as effective just because small arms hurts it a little bit. You're going to get about 75% out of it. So you can get about 6 or 7 shots out of it. And then what you're going to want to do is actually stay fairly mobile here for this first part. And then if you can get the boss to actually teleport away and pull some of these vandals to you, then you can use your super and then really start going to town on some of these guys. What you want is to try and get them to group up if you can. Of course, sometimes they're not going to want to do that. If you do get a few guys in these little groups here. And then, of course, that was just not a great run. But as a hunter, you will get extra bonus just because you're using melees on top of your super. And then once you're out of super, start using your bad juju to build it back up. Should have plenty of guys around. The vandals, unfortunately, will not be able to give you precision kill bonus. So just take advantage of what you can where you can. I swear I've got one vandal sitting over there hiding. Just need to find him, and then we should be good. I'm using a flux grenade just because it's one I can attach to the boss and do stuff to him. Now, as I had that damage in the boss previously, I've got reinforcements coming fairly quickly. I can also build up my super fairly quickly and try and run away. Again, the boss will sometimes teleport right over here and come up to the middle. So if you want to run over here to the right-hand side, you can sometimes pull the enemies off and away from the boss, which is what you want. Those bouncy grenades will actually take a good chunk out of you. So you can pull more of the enemies down to you under here. Get some of these melees running here. And then if you can use your burst damage like that, And then just try and get a lot of these guys grouped up as possible. Never quite know where they're going to be. And then where you can get them, take them. But once you've got all the enemies down that you can find at least, uh, you're going to probably have a few stragglers left over. Whoever's left, just pick them off. Shouldn't be too bad. And then once they're off, these guys are going to be chasing you pretty quickly. So let them come to you. Go for those precision kills, of course, the occasional ones that you can get. And then once you're done with the enemies, who apparently this dude is just chilling over here, time to put some damage into the boss. Now, sometimes I've seen him sit down here. He does that and warps right to you. Make sure you back up and don't get nailed by all the other stuff he's going to drop. And then just keep the shots going into him. You can use your grenades as well. Just one of the few times you can use your grenade just to lower some damage into him. And get some extra damage there. As these enemies come out, sometimes they'll come to you, sometimes they'll go creeping away. We can use this as a nice time to build up your super. Probably finish off this one dude so he's not roaming around as a, a loner. And then go see if you can get the rest of these guys to group up out in the middle. So you'll have these guys, these vandals over here. You'll have some of these shanks up here. And you'll have some enemies around. So if you want to jump around for a minute, try and get some of them to group up in a reasonable collection. And then see how much fun you can have trying to track them all down. The more you kill, the more you get. 
And then, of course, when you run out, just stay mobile. And just keep building it back up. It's a pretty straightforward fight, mostly. You're not going to be doing anything to, um, you know, groundbreaking on this one specifically. Once you get most of the enemies down, then just make sure you keep pumping your damage into them. I do have reinforcements coming, so I missed, say, that one guy. Not too bad. The melees will definitely be coming to you, so if you want to use this as a nice time to pick those off. Also, shanks are good for actually building your super because you can't crit them. So if you can actually at least shoot them in that way, you can do some damage to them. Now you can use this as a time to build them up, and then these guys here, let them be the unfortunate blade machines. Oh, come on, nice jump, but that's not going to happen. Nope, quit trying to get away. And then of course, Blink Strike is there if you need to get away. In this room, it's not quite as beneficial because you don't have as much to run away from. But when it comes to the Cabal Room, the Blink Strike Invisibility Punch is going to be quite beneficial because that one can get a bit dicey, so you just got to be a bit more careful in that one. And again, you can always, you know, throw your grenade as you're switching guns and just start pumping some damage out. I think I literally just shot that grenade out of the air. And then unfortunately, if he runs away, you got to find him. And keep the damage going. Now this is going to be the last wave, so once I get the reinforcements coming, I'm going to actually keep the damage going. Even if it is just by bad juju, so I can have him pretty close to that phase. It takes these guys a minute to pop out. So if I can actually have the boss closer, that'll save me some time. I'm also going to pull out more of these enemies this way as well. I'm going to pull the vandals, because these guys want to just run straight to me. That's fine. Pick off the vandals there in the middle as well. Precision kill if possible. You can't always get them all, but you can get a lot of them. Now, here's kind of the debate of how many of these guys can you actually collect up afterwards. I got my super, so I'm going to try and get what I can here. At least I've got a decent amount lining up to me here, which is nice. Normally they don't actually want to be that generous in there running to me, but if they're going to do it that way, that's fine. I would not advise trying to melee and super the boss that's just asking to get, you know, punched in the face and take a bit more of a beating than required. So once you got him pretty close and low, finish him off with some special. And this ought to do it. There you go. 8,000. I got about 6,300 out of my Titan. Just that melee bonus is definitely going to be beneficial, so... You've got that working in your favor as a hunter. Make sure you take advantage of that. It's nice just because you can um, get more for every single kill. So take advantage of the melee bonus. It's going to be nice for a solo player to get those extra points where you can. All right, so round two is going to be Hive. This is going to be Taken Hive. And you've got uh, Psylocke the Defiled. It's not too bad. He's got his typical kind of void shot. He's also got the Napalm, which is the main issue. Uh, but really all you got to focus on is take down the two Wizards and the rest of the Acolytes will come to you. So look for those. Bad Juju's effective at taking those down. And then you can go super crazy on all the Acolytes once you've got them in a nice grouping. So I'm going to build up my super. Be right back. Alright, so once you're in here and you've got the Taken actually spawning, what you want to do is look for the wizards first. We've got one up here up top. If you can take the wizards out, then you'll be able to pull the Acolytes down to you from wherever they tend to run off to. Come on, just die. Alright, so once you've got most of them, they're going to start to come down and collect right out here in front. And if they're not in front, they're over here off to the side, so hopefully you can pull off something like get one of these. Have them continue to actually do their stuff. And then the more of these guys that you can group up together, the better off you're going to be, depending on how many are left. So I probably have a couple more guys. Not too many, though. Got most of them with my super. These last few, you can kind of go for target practice as they jump off the edge. And the one straggler over there. Come on, guys. A little faster would be great. Alright, that's probably going to be a wrap. Going to grab my special here. You can land here, get him to throw his napalm over here, 
And the right when it hits, you can come over to this platform, use it as more of a safe cover, and being as you've already got him to fire his napalm once, it's going to be a minute before he fires it again. Now, sometimes if you're lucky, he won't actually land it up on this platform, so you have a bit of an obstruction to see through, but you won't actually have the napalm right on you. And then if that actually happens, if he does start firing it on, you can always come back here, dodge these shots a little bit, and then once you've got him pissed off enough to pull more, more reinforcements, time to uh, shoot a few of these. Now, if you can take out the wizards before anything else really happens, that'll let you make sure if you do actually get your super quickly, then your acolytes will be the ones you kill, and you're not wasting kills on anything else. So I think at this point I'm pretty close. Got like one acolyte over here, as expected. All right, so now just want to try and pull these guys down again. Keep them in a collected area. I've got some over here on the right, so I'm going to start over here this time. Got some here in the middle. Probably have some up top, actually, but I can't find them right now. Now that's a wrap. All right, so see which other ones we've got straggling over here. These guys are pretty easy, honestly. They go down really fast, so. And normally I don't run over here to do damage to the boss. He's got a bit more range, and sometimes you're just going to be in a tough spot to actually be able to do consistent damage to him without having to worry about the fire. So that's just why I like the other side. I'm going to try and come over here. got to grab some ammo anyway, so I may as well do this. Now there's the third option. You can actually use this little cliff, mountain, whatever you want to call it right here. And you can use that, because he'll typically fire right in front of you, and you can just sit here and just shoot into him pretty consistently. He does that little bouncy thing too, so if you're using a sniper rifle, watch out for that. As soon as you see that actually him call reinforcements, sometimes the wizard will be over in a reasonably close area that you can get to, but also you're going to have the fire coming your way. It's one of the reasons I like to work from that lower area, just as a much safer area to work from. So I want to take this wizard out if I can. That's priority one. I got another precision kill. I think that dude just jumped in front of my bullets. So for now, super is not up. I want to keep taking these guys out, trying to build my super. Alright, almost there. The straggler over here. And then by the time I get these guys grouped up, hopefully, I will have my super. So both wizards are down. Got a nice grouping here. So now if I can get these guys all together, get some ammo, and have some fun. And again, these nice little super shots are going to be good. Got a couple stragglers here. And that's pretty much a wrap. Alright, so I think there's one more dude over here sitting somewhere. Straggler, yep, there he is. And then just be careful, you can always throw a grenade at him. Have your fun with that. And you can actually use just bad juju to pump some damage in if you do that. Just be aware when that happens, you're likely to... Um, Probably need to reload just because you're not getting the quick kills to get your ammo refilled instantly. Watch out for the wizards, of course. But they go still go down pretty quickly on account of uh, small arms being nice and effective. Once their shield's down, they're pretty weak as it is. And these guys even go down pretty fast. Now here's the old, good old debate. Do I actually pop my super on the rest of these enemies and go for extra points? Or do I just save it for the next round and go for a full round? I'm going to use it now just because I have, you know, still six, seven enemies. Decent grouping here. Looks like I've got another straggler over here in the middle. That's probably going to be it, but unfortunately, I can't do much to the boss because he'd just sit there and kick my butt. So I'm going to come over here on this platform if I don't fall down first. And just rotate and do some sniper damage to him. I like the sniper damage. does help when I'm not going at 75% sniper damage, but I'll take what I can get. Now this is going to be the last wave, so what you want to do here is as soon as you see those reinforcements, you can keep doing damage and get him as close to death as feasibly possible. Because once he's low, you're pretty much not going to have to worry about much else besides killing him with that last shot. So killing him quickly won't hurt anything. Now at this point, you're not likely to get your super back, and if you do, there's not going to be much of it. So just keep going for the kills that you can. Uh, they go down pretty quick, most of these guys will. Um, 
typically don't hover over here, just for the prime reason of there's so much of his solar napalm hovering around. It's not the safest place to stand. But if you can pull some of these guys down, or take a minute and try and get some damage on him, either way, find the wizard. Bad time to reload. That'll work, though. So I got these guys coming to me. My super is up, but I'm also pretty sure I don't have anybody else to kill. Now, I could do kind of a risky maneuver and try and actually kill the boss with the with my super. Could be entertaining. We'll see if it's actually worth the attempt. I have a couple more guys to kill. Some down here. Don't want to forget these. They're worth the points. Losing a little bit, but I'm already at 21,000, so my points is definitely going to be fine. Uh, what I really want to try and do is get him really close if I can, and then use my super to actually kill him. So I'm going to try this actually, get him really close. I don't want to go too much because these shots are actually pretty effective. Alright, so now the fun part. Hey, what do you know? Pulled it off. Ta-da! Special weapons are full. 22,000. Definitely better than the Titan. I think I was coming out of here at about 18, so already ahead of the game there. And that's pretty much it. So, I mean, take care of the wizards, then however you find it best to take care of the uh, acolytes and groups. If you want to do Showstopper, if you think Razor's Edge is better, but Encore is definitely going to be a big benefit there. Alright, so round three is going to be Val Arun. This is the standard Cabal guy, but he's got the flares as defense. Um, so pretty much you have to take out a flare to be able to make him vulnerable and do damage. It's all about kind of timing those and making the most use of the time. So, let's get cracking. Alright, so what you want to do is try and get some damage into him as quick as you can. Get a few sniper shots in, then you can switch over to Bad Juju and keep the damage going. What you want to do is have him much closer to that next damage wave of enemies for reinforcements as you can. Because when it comes time to call them, you want to be able to do it pretty quickly. So, that's a decent chunk of damage out of him, which will help. Then what you want to do is try and find a way to, for one, regather your health, which takes a minute from the beating you take as a hunter. And then figure out where you can find the best group of enemies. So I've got a couple phalanx over here. What you want to do is try and get these guys to hopefully get their pain worked out on you. And then if you can line up some of these guys for... That is going to be trouble. Alright, I'm going to get out of here in quiet, invisible fashion and come over here. And hey, if the right flayer comes at you by himself, that's totally fine. Just work him down, but don't kill him until all the enemies are down just because you want to save him for a little bit later. But if you can get some damage on him, it's not going to hurt anything. Now that quake cannot go through walls, but it's still going to hurt, so be careful about that one. Try and mow down the flayers you can so you're not getting picked off as you're trying to go across the map. And now is probably a good time to get out of here because the boss is close, the flayers are coming behind, which they tend to get a little bit of aggressive. And this will give you time to actually get a little space and get your health back. So now the boss is going to be coming to me, see if there's anything up here that I can use. Work on building up my super and then try and find that correct flayer again, which not quite there, but he's somewhere around. Got a few more stragglers it looks like. Again, try and get precision kills a little better than I'm doing. And just keep trying to mow down the phalanx. Whew, that hurt. Alright, so I've got my supercharge for the next round of enemies. I think I'm pretty close when it comes to uh, boss damage for one, and two, also time to go for the phalanx. If I could just jump properly, that would help me a ton. Failing miserably here right now. Alright, so I got one more phalanx left. I want to take him out, and then I want to find the Void Flare and focus him down. Now, of course, the only thing I can't see right now is the Void Flare. Solar, Arc, where's Mr. Void? Are you kidding me? I can literally shoot none of those guys without the Void guy. Alright, so if you got to move and rotate and get people to move, that's kind of what you got to do. There he is. Of course, now I finally find him. Now, you have the option of blowing your super on him, which you could do. He'd probably go down fairly quickly. Boss is really, really annoying here. 
But so is the flare that I cannot find. He's in the back. Alright. This is the one I want. He's gonna keep running away. They tend to be a little more, uh... Nervous when you're trying to actually kill them, so... You can get him pinched anywhere in a corner. And not get blown away. I'm just doing horrible on time here, so I apologize, guys. Taking quite the beating, though. Trying to not let a shield get back up, which always makes it a little more difficult, which he got it back. But maybe not all of it. Alright, he's still up there somewhere. He is hiding. He's almost down. Oh, he is so close. Come on, Flare. Where'd you go? Don't you do it. Alright, Flare's down, so now it's boss damage time. And I was just perfect to have reinforcements coming, so again, same thing. Keep your damage going on him so that next phase is just even easier to bring on. So I've got reinforcements coming, so now I can wait for those reinforcements to come out and take advantage when they actually get here once he pulls a new super. So I'm going to go ahead and pull a super here and start trying to take all these scions out because they're actually pretty isolated for a change. This dude is just running like crazy. Not going to let me take advantage of too much. All right, so I've got some more super kill bonus. And the joys of the phalanx are back, so try and take those out quickly. Hide so you don't get squished. And then just start building your super back up. There should be plenty of scions around to do that, which is always nice. Just keep mowing those down. Some of them will come back behind here for you. If these guys come in, at least you can stay here and focus them down through their shield. So we're on solar for the main shield. Phalanx. Watch your right hand side too, sometimes they'll come over there. If they do that, just go for a full rotation, save yourself a little anguish. Looks like I've got some Scions, but I've also got the Flare over here that I need to take out. So, go for the Scion first, and then go for that Flare, so you can actually work him down a little bit. Now you're probably not going to get him to stay still like that most of the time, but if for some reason you can, keep working his health down while you're trying to do other stuff as well. Make sure and watch your health, the most important part. If you die, none of this matters. If you duck over here, you're usually going to be relatively safe. Of course, I can find everybody but the flare I need. As I said, the flare you need is typically going to be the weenie who runs away, so. Now, if you can get him to sit out there in the middle for you, works wonderfully. Oh, there's a little auto aim for you if I've ever seen it. Looks like he is right up there. Actually got him with the grenade. He is down, so now I'm going to go for damage on the boss because he is vulnerable. And this will get me more reinforcements coming. Again, that preparation in between each wave is helping so we can get those reinforcements coming quicker and save ourselves some time. I just went double reinforcements wave, which is not what I wanted to do, unfortunately. So now I'm just going to go super crazy here. And go invisible so I can get out of there. We are over 30,000 right now. I would be better off if I hadn't wasted that one round. I went too much damage on him, but I am going for time, so maybe it'll work out just because if I waste too much time, I might throw away the points. Alright, what else we got? So now we're just going to have one last flare and then reinforcements as standard. But at this point, we know which flare we've got to take out. The only one that's left is Ark. So he's actually going to be pretty easy if I can build my super up. And keep finishing these guys off. Phalanx, of course, finishing that one for me. And then just looking for the flare is a nice way to uh, take him out. And you can just keep bouncing back and forth between this doorway. He's going to be hiding a little bit, but if you keep tagging him, you can at least uh, keep the Scion Flare shield down. Watch if they do their charge up attack, that melee will hurt quite a bit. Got a grenade down on the ground so I can at least hurt him a little bit. Pretty much you just want to keep killing him. Obviously. And then once he's down, then you can do some damage to him. Boss damage time. 
Now, bad juju works pretty effectively just because you're in relatively close range. I got too close on the boss damage wave, so unfortunately I'm going to have one less wave of enemies here. So you probably could do better on score than I'm going to. But in the grand scheme of things, uh, this is just showing you guys more the guide of how to get through it as opposed to going for, hey, this is my top score run. So I got reinforcements coming. But as the boss is still out here, I'm going to put some more damage on him and just get him as close as I can. Just because time is still working against me. So once I'm ready, then at least I know. So now what I'm going to try and do is come across the map and see what I can do to isolate some of these enemies. Into a group where I can actually use my super. It's not the easiest thing to always get the chance to do. Because these guys are so... So efficient at making my super inefficient. Okay, that happened. Alright, well I got like one super kill out of that. That was just awful. This is not, not a good run. I almost won't record this one for you guys, but you know it can be done better, so I will leave this in here for you guys. Just for the sake of finishing it. Hunters can do a lot, and if you're running with a group... As a group, honestly, a hunter should run tether so you can get more orbs. Because you're probably going to be most effective as, I think, a warlock. Because that chain lightning will be able to go through um, all the phalanx of shields. And you can get a lot of kills as a warlock because you can have a double link super. Keep getting orbs. You can just do a lot of damage as a warlock. That's why I'm saving them for last, just because I think it's going to be the easiest to run through. Now, got a couple more enemies here. Not too many, though, actually. That Scion. He's getting pretty low. I'm going to try and kill him with Razor's Edge if I actually get a chance to do it. See how low I can get him. He's pretty close. 34,000. I'm actually starting to lose more points than I'm getting. I think I'm pretty good in the grand scheme. And finished him off. So, 36,000. As you guys saw, should have been probably closer a little to 40, just because I missed out on that one wave of enemies. Just a little too much damage. So you got to be cautious how much damage you do to the boss. If you pull an extra uh, wave of enemies without getting that other one killed, you lose out on quite a bit of points. Um, but that last room, make sure you use Hungering Blade. There's just so much going on, the close melees, the shields. Lots of things will hurt, so it's just better to get your health back as opposed to going down. Going down swinging doesn't help, so make sure you actually go down with a finish, a W. Um, other than that, uh, I think this one's not too bad. It's kind of the idea of, do you want to take out the flares first and then just have waves of enemies, or do you want to actually prep him, and I think it's better for timing, get some damage into him first before he gets the shield up. Then once you take out one of the flares, your next amount of damage you get into him when he's vulnerable should be enough to get you to the next wave of enemies. So then if you time that right, then you're kind of being, you're progressing through everything. You're, you know, getting farther on the enemies, getting farther on the boss, getting farther on the flares, as opposed to doing one at a time, which is going to take a lot longer. So hope this was helpful for you guys. Likes are appreciated. Check out the main channel. I've got plenty of content coming your way. Rise of Iron is around the corner, it feels like. It just can't come soon enough. Um, Nightfall solo was interesting this week. Check one out one out as well. Uh, do Arms Day. I do Zer for you guys, so check these out. And um, just check out the main channel and subscribe there. Again, if you have a question or comment, leave those below. I try to answer every single one that I can. Um, other than that, have fun this week. Good luck, guys. And the Warlock is coming next.